Welcome back. What you just saw was a slice of a super delicious and creamy coconut poke cake. And I bet after watching this video, you would definitely want to try this. And believe me when I say, anybody can make this cake. So without wasting much time, let's head straight into baking. But before that, let's stop by and take a look at the list of ingredients. So we're getting started here with the ready mix. Take it out in a clean bowl, stirring it around a little bit to remove lumps if any. And then we're going to add three large eggs. I'm just following the instruction on the box to bake the cake. So it's pretty simple. Half a cup of oil, follow it up with one cup of water. And then using a hand mixer, mix all the ingredients till they are well combined. It's important to stop by and scrape the sides to ensure everything is incorporated. And then give it a mix again. Make sure not to over mix. Next, grease or use a baking spray on a 9 by 11 inch baking pan and pour the batter evenly. Use a spatula to spread it across. Make sure it's all even. And then I'm tapping it a little bit here to remove any air bubbles that may have remained trapped. Next, place it in the oven and bake at 350 degrees F for 40 to 45 minutes till a wooden tester comes out clean. It's 45 minutes and the cake is out. It's looking good. We are going to let it cool for some time and then start poking holes in the cake. Yes, use a chopstick or a fork. And once you have done, pour the cream of coconut across the cake. Make sure every inch is soaked in it and you have to allow some time in between for the cake to absorb before you start pouring the next round. Yeah, once you have poured, loosely cover it with an aluminium foil and then place it in the refrigerator for three to four hours for it to set. In the meantime, we'll prepare the whipped cream. So take two cups of heavy whipping cream. To that, add two tablespoons of uh, confectioner's sugar. If you want more sweet, you can add a little bit more and then beat till you get firm peaks. Next, we are going to slightly toast the coconut flakes. Yeah, I'm using the sweetened coconut flakes here. So it's four hours. The cake is out of the refrigerator. Mm, it's looking good. I'm shaving the top a little bit to make the uh, surface even. Now, if you want, you can even shave it off before you pour the cream of coconut, but I like it this way. And then we are going to drop in the heavy whipped cream and cover the cake across using the offset spatula. Once it's done, go ahead and garnish the cake with the roasted coconut flakes. Make sure your flakes have cooled down before you garnish. And there it is, ready. Save it in the refrigerator for another hour before you start serving. And here I am, ready to slice the cake and enjoy. Ooh, look at that. It's looking absolutely delicious. It's time to dig in. Okay, so wasn't that simple? Now you believe me? Thank you for watching and do come back for more. Till we meet, be safe and keep cooking. Oops, keep baking as well. See ya.